<laughs> what up, YouTube? It's your boy, Banks. And we back in the building, you feel me? It's True Talks. Because True Talks. All right, let's get straight right into it. So you already know, last night was definitely a big game. A rematch of the Eastern Conference uh, semifinals. With the last time we seen them, it was a boom, 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 boom. <laughs> with the Kawhi shot. You know what I'm saying? It was Philly versus the Raptors. Raptors are home this time around, and you already know a lot of battle game within a game. Drake versus Meek Mill. <laughs> you got, you got, you know, a lot of stuff happening within this game. Ben Simmons versus Pascal. A lot of stuff happening. So let's see what actually happened with the context. Obviously, it's a different Philly team. There's no Jimmy Butler. There's no JJ Redick, which I told people from time was gonna be crucial. I told people from time Butler was the closer. Reddick, a lot of those curl screens and those splash threes, if you ask me, was definitely crucial again too. So we'll see how this new look Phillies uh, team looks and we'll see how this new look Raptors team also faces on plays out versus them as well. So let's go straight into the context because I give you that context. Let's go, man. I give you that IQ because that's what I do. I'm here to show y'all advanced context. So if you look deeper into Pascal and his takes and what he was doing earlier in the first half, he wasn't doing anything when Ben Simmons was on him. Everything else was off transition situationals. But when Ben Simmons was on him, it was padlocks. So now let's look into what Pascal is going to do in this fourth quarter and what the team is also going to do in this fourth quarter. Both teams. Who's closing? Who's doing what? Okay, so show me something we'll be doing here. Okay. Brush screen. <laughs> okay. Okay. Good pass. Pass it. Oh, boom. Pass back. Hey! Okay. MTD, we trust. That's Davis. He said nothing to play with. Good stuff. Good. all good vision. Good vision. What are we doing? Lock up. Tie game. 10 30 left in the fourth. What are we going to do? And what are they going to do? What's Philly going to do? Where's the closing ability? Show me. Okay, Tobias. It's got to be you or Embiid. <laughs> okay. Hey! Boom. Tobias. You said I got that money. To buy this a cash money boy, we doing good pass. Pfft, come on, Gasol, you gotta make that. You gotta make that, man. We doing push, bro. Look at MB. Look how he's just moving slow, bro. Pfft, God damn, MB, <laughs> struggling the whole game. Just looking fugazi. Just when he's not in this, my goodness, yo. <laughs> mm, my God. My goodness, that boy Josh, that boy Richardson, yo. He was the saving grace, man. If it wasn't for him, it would have been a blowout. My goodness, yo. What we doing? <laughs> okay, see him. What we doing? <laughs> Good pass. Oh, okay. Well, oh, Gasol. <laughs> Good way to create. Boom. My goodness. And TD, we trust. <laughs> okay. Good way to create that off the glass, man. Oh, bruh, they called a foul. <laughs> he actually didn't touch him. That's that assume foul. That's that actually assume foul. My goodness, refs. What kind of atrocious call is that? What, bruh? He's like, yo, what? I didn't even touch him. He's laughing. CJ! CJ! He didn't even touch him! <sighs> Fuck, man! <laughs> nurse <laughs> look at that bruh look at the contest he didn't even touch him he just flailed his arms and that's that assume foul bruh <laughs> <laughs> he missed it <laughs> oh, <damn. laughs> hey yo you ain't on shit <laughs> <laughs> Let him know, Drake. Let him know. <laughs> I like the game within a game. It's not injured. It's not nothing. You just walk in, gingerly walk in like he's just, his whole demeanor, his anus, everything. It has nothing to do with anything but Gasol just having real estate in his head. When he's there, palms are sweaty and his nervous demeanor is anus. It changes. <laughs> okay, Davis. He said, I ain't nothing to play with. And TD, we trust, boy. Okay, boy. Bruh, MB, like his whole demeanor, everything is just fugazi, man. This is who your closer is? <laughs> Bruh, cork mass has to be the new Reddick. <laughs> he has to be the new Reddick, man. You give it to him. Show me something. Bruh, Ben Simmons on you. Bruh, he passes. He's not doing nothing. <laughs> God damn, Pascal. The song I hate it contested. It's you, Mono. We Mono. Show me. Ben Simmons on... Damn, Pascal, yo. Like, it's, bro. Hey, Pascal switched, but terrible angle, and he got beat. He's lucky he fumbled it. Good reach, OG. He's lucky he fumbled it. God damn, Pascal, man. What we doing? <laughs> oh, there's nothing. They're just improvising, bro. 
my goodness, yo, that's Horford, man. He can make that, bro. <laughs> they created out of nothing. Down four, what y'all going to do? This is when it matters. This is what I'm looking for, Pascal. Show me what, that aggression that you have on everybody else. Can I see it on Simmons? Can I see it? What are we doing? <laughs> oh, bruh. <laughs> My goodness. Oh, that's great defense. Oh, cookies. Pillsbury. Tobias, get that shit out of here. And he's looking at Van Fleet. You see them? They're about to be talking. Look at, look at Tobias and look at Van Fleet. He's like, get that shit out of that weak shit. You don't do it on me. And then Van Fleet's laughing. He's like, oh, are you talking now? He's like, oh, that's how you feel? Oh, okay, you talking now? Van Fleet's laughing. He's like, okay. <laughs> look at his nigga. And Tobias is serious. He's like, I ain't doing that shit on me. I like this intensity. Game within a game. Playoff atmosphere. I love it. I love it. Bro, and then look at here on this screen. You can see OG is supposed to switch. Norm Powell's like, yo, he's going to switch. OG fights through. He's like, what the? Nigga? And then he has to go retreat. And then look, back screen by MB. Pff, look at that. Gets contact and then nothing. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's even a 9-1. Come on, yo. Where's the communication? Where's the switching? What's going on here? Okay, Cook and Pascal. Look, look at Pascal. He waits. He waits for the screen. And then he sees that little separation. You see, Gasol is screening on Simmons. That little separation. Now he gets the aggression. He gets a, all of a sudden a burst of speed. And look at him. See, now he wants to attack. Bruh. God damn, that could have been an and one because he bit on a pump fake. But still, Pascal, just cook him. Why you need screens? What's going on here? You, put, you pick and choose your aggression? God damn. But now we see on this end. What are they going to do? Embiid, you already know he's not a closer. His palms get sweaty. Then look right here. They switch on the screen, which is good. But then look. Look at Gasol. God damn. Pascal's getting screened. Gasol's not even looking. He's not even looking. Wide open. But thank God OG saved him with the help and, and cookied it. Off Tobias' hands. Raptors ball. Thank God, OG. Good defense, boy. So we can see through Nurse's IQ play right here, okay? So we can pause it right here. We can see they did a little brush handoff, okay? So there's three options. Well, option one is Van Fleet right here. He can go for the layup and have the take if they miscommunicate or whatever the case is. Option two is Pascal. Pascal, if they miscommunicate again, you got to pop for three, okay? That's what you got. Then on the other side, you can see Gasol's going to set a back screen on Tobias Harris to get Norman Powell open, you get what I'm saying? Norman Powell's going to curl off the screen and drift to the corner, okay? And this is an elite play. The reason why this is an elite play is not just because of that, but it's because of the multiple actions you get what i'm saying and beat right here is forced to pick up on van fleet because as a big man you know your role is to protect the paint so because of this action and and beat is there forced to guard the paint and pick up on van fleet's penetration you get what i'm saying he's not focused on actually switching on the back screen this is called multiple plays happening at the same time this is an advanced play and this is the reason why the play is elite because he's forced and stuck in the paint Powell can now curl off, get screened if Gasol sets it right on Tobias Harris. Wide open because no one's switching, no one's hedging. That's beautiful. That's what I like to see. Look, as you see the back screen, Norman Powell comes off. Wide open because Tobias is caught in the screen. Bro, that's got to go. That's what I'm talking about. That's Powell. Jump shot wet, get that boy a towel. My goodness, that's a great play. That's a great IQ play, man. I like to see that. How are we going to close over here with the, with the Sixers? What are we going to do? Ben Simmons, I don't even know why you're guarding him that high. That's no IQ. Okay, they switched the screen. That's one switch. Good stuff. What are we doing here? Okay, nothing there. Embiid, you already know he's not going to work. Bro, Van Fleet with the late switch. OG has to push him. Are you serious? <laughs> My goodness. But the fact that Josh Richardson has to pull the most shots in the clutch? What's going on here? Ben Simmons... <laughs> Okay, what are we doing? Bro, he's not going up with that. You already know. What are we doing? They're looking for Josh Richardson to cook? This is what they have to do. Where's Butler when you need him? <laughs> what are we doing? I told y'all. I told y'all, man. Okay, Pascal's your time. Ben Simmons is on. You show me. <laughs> go to work. But Van Fee's like, yo, go to work. Come on, yo. Go to work. Okay, show me. Look at him. No aggression. No aggression. Bro, and then now the double team comes to bail him out. But there was no aggression. He wasn't doing anything anyways. Bro. Boom. Van Fleet, I know that he can eat, but you see Pascal's aggression, he was literally dribbling gingerly because he didn't want to do nothing because Ben Simmons is on him. I'm telling y'all, Ben, if MB did him double team, that would be no take. What are we doing here? <laughs> okay, Br terrible. <laughs> God damn, yo, MB is actually, this, this man's clutch ability is actually anus, man. Got a blood clot. Gasol got fouled. He, <laughs> he missed fur. He misses the first free throw. God. And then misses the... How you miss two free throws, Gasol? Leaving the window open. What is going on here? This is terrible closing on both ends. This is atrocious, man. God damn, yo, bruh. What we doing here? Okay, defense. What we doing? Down screen and bead. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Offensive foul. His closing ability is actually anus. It's always been anus if you pay attention. It's always been anus. It's been Butler and Reddick. That's who it's been. It's never been Embiid. It's never been Simmons. Ever. Ever. I don't want to hear that shit, man.
Pascal, can you show me something, please? You need to be the closer. Okay, close. <laughs> bro. God damn, Pascal, man. Yo, bro. Transition on the other end. What? Both teams ain't as closing right now. What are we doing? <laughs> bro, just nothing. It has to be Josh Richardson. It has to be him. Really? It has to be him to close? Bro, what are we doing? Brush screen. Okay. <laughs> Go pass. <laughs> bro, what kind of cookies? Pillsbury will be out. Show me. <laughs> God damn, OG. Just slow it down or kick it to pow in the corner. Bro, what, what the fuck? Yo, this is terrible. This is the ugliest closing. What the? What is Nick? What are y'all doing? Both teams. God damn. <laughs> bro, this is terrible. <laughs> Mans don't want the ball. Hot potato. <laughs> okay, show me. <laughs> Pads. Lock up. He's passing. He has to. Bro, that's what they want. <laughs> God damn, rebound. Okay, look at him be trying to drop out the cookies. <laughs> Yo, this is terrible. This is ugly closing, man. What is... I see nerves. That's what I see. Palms are sweaty. Knees weak, arms are heavy. <laughs> okay, good dribble. <laughs> but the fact that it's all Josh Richardson, it's all... I rate you, Josh. I rate you for trying. Pause right here. So I'm going to show you the little things that people don't see. So Pascal right here, you can clearly see that he's looking in that direction, okay? So clearly he sees that Ben Simmons is being guarded by Powell right now. So he knows, let me be smart. Let me take advantage of the situation. And let me actually just sprint down the court. Let me sprint down the court. And in that way, Ben Simmons can't guard me if I sprint down the court because it's transition. So that's going to force Al Horford to have to get me. If Al Horford has to get me, that's an auto mismatch. It's gift wrap. You get what I'm saying? So you can see clearly Pascal recognizes and he starts sprinting down the court. Ben Simmons sees it and he points. Yo, get mine, get mine, get mine. Al Horford points to Tobias. Yo, get him, get him. But he's like, ah, I see Powell coming on the court. So obviously he has to get Powell. Okay, I gotta get Pascal. Okay, so what are we gonna do here? So Pascal, you can see he recognizes that, okay? Oh, yo, uh, give it to me in the post. Oh, no, what we want. And then Van Fleet tells him, get it up court. Okay, blow by. You already know. Now the aggression happens. <laughs> now he has the aggression. <laughs> now he, <we> <laughs> okay. <laughs> see, I come in the paint. Because I'm saying I come in the paint. Boy, let's fucking go. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't like how he picks and chooses. Be aggressive. Cook Simmons, man. Don't pick and choose, man. Bro, that's that's terrible. But at the end of the day, it's a great take. And he still got the finish. Got the end. Bro, that's what we're going to do here. They have no closer now. <laughs> bro, bro. <laughs> rebound, you know, d -cell, man. Give me that shit, boy. Bro, no Butler, no Reddick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cook him. Oh, ben Simmons is like, I'm not switching this time. Cook him. See, the aggression changes. Where's the dribble? Where's all of that? He's looking for Van Fleet. See, he wants to switch. You see what I'm saying, man? Ben Simmons is like, no, no switch. No switch. Cook. Okay, now, bro, Van Fleet has to go to work on a Josh Richardson as elite defense. Look, it's nothing. <laughs> Show me. <laughs> That's great D. Oh, my. Great D. <sighs> That's great defense. See, bro, I'm telling you. See, I, I'm telling y'all, man. What are you doing? <laughs> bro, <laughs> cookies, bro. <laughs> Yo, bro, I know Bas Pascal got the cookie and it's a great steal, but that's not what stood out to me. It's Ben Simmons, bro. Look at this. Ben Simmons throws a behind him pass when he has the whole hoop in front of him. He passes to where he is and not to where he's going. This is terrible because look where he should be passing in that situation, in that vicinity is where he should be passing. This is terrible because Simmons is somebody who at the end of the day, the most elite thing about him is his passing. How is your passing that elite? But then now in the clutch, all of a sudden you do an A in his pass. See what I'm saying? When people's abilities start changing, in the in the situation and in the clutch is because they're nervous that's what that means ben simmons has no closing ability and this is what this means i'm not even saying about your shot this is your this is you how you make a terrible pass like that terrible way behind the guy terrible obviously pascal got a good steal but it was an easy cookie and it's not about pascal this is about ben simmons terrible pass terrible pass that is atrocious, man. Van Fleet got fouled and made his free throws. And now it's a three-point game. And the Sixers have the ball and it's a timeout. So we're going to see what they're talking about in the huddle. They're running down. Watch Harris. He wants to shoot it. Sets the down screen. Then Simmons knows he can catch and shoot. So when Switch. Harris sets a down screen, he likes to pick out. That's fine. You and OG, uh... OG can switch everything. Uh, they're trying to figure out who can switch and who can. <laughs> That's what they're talking about in the huddle. So let's see what happens here. So you can see, okay, they switch there. And then off the down screen, no need to switch, bruh. He called it. They pulled it. Rebound. Okay. What the fuck? <laughs> Yo, Ben Simmons, what are you doing, bruh? 
Hurry, bro. There's bare time on the clock. Say I come in the paint. Because I'm saying I come in the paint. Boy, are you serious? What's wrong with Simmons, man? Bro. So you can see but Tobias misses. He gets the rebound. Bro. Pause right now. Look at this shit. There's 6.6 6 seconds on the clock. And this man, I don't know what's wrong. The nervousness and the clutch, the eye. Bro. <laughs> this man whips a fadeaway three when you don't shoot. Bro, I don't know. Bro, that, that's game, man. That's game. I honestly don't know what is wrong with these guys, man. Their closing ability is anus. People are like, oh, as they get better and get better next year and next year and next year. It's been three years. It's been three years. Still no closing ability. It's been Butler and Reddick. I tried to tell y'all, man. This man did a fatal way drifting three from Egypt when he don't even shoot regular threes. With 6.6 .6 on the clock. When, bro. <laughs> See? This is what I try to tell people about basketball. Why basketball is 80 or 90% mental. You get what I'm saying? Because when you have abilities and then automatically the same ability disappears when it's the clutch moment, you're the same guy. You still have the same ability. The only thing that changes is the moment. So for you to now be different in the moment, it means it's the pressure is too much. That's all it means. And people don't understand and don't want to dive into that and say, oh, it has to get better and get better. You can tell when someone has to get better because if they still do them in the clutch, but they miss, then it's okay. They have to get better. But you don't even do the same takes. You brain fart. Like, bro, I'm trying to tell y'all, man. All Embiid, all those shimmies, all those up and unders, all those punches, all those face up backboard, all those elite takes. Once it's clutch, it disappears. He starts trying to force into the paint and do nonsense. And then it's not the same takes. And Ben Simmons, not the same takes. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all, man. Like, that shit is terrible. They're gonna, I told people from time, they're gonna miss Butler. They're gonna miss Reddit. I told y'all, those two were their clutch players. Tobias obviously can play in the clutch too, but I'm trying to tell you, his is only situational, his is only dependent. He's not going to just lead you to victories off closing every single time. It's not guaranteed. What are y'all talking about? I've been trying to tell people, man. I've been trying to tell people. That's atrocious closing. Atrocious. Man, and Pascal, I try to tell people, he picks and chooses. This is what I'm talking about. Yes, he went to work. Yes, or oh, he went to work a little bit in the first half and whatever. And yes, he had the, the and one that basically sealed the deal. But what I'm trying to tell y'all is that he's still picking and choosing. Picking when to be confident. You can tell by even just, you can literally, if you understand what I'm saying, you can even tell the aggression is not just the take. Even just how he gets to the take. You can tell when Ben Simmons on him, he just dribbling gingerly. It's like he's looking for a pass in more. He's looking for Van Fleet. He's looking for this. People have to tell him, go to work, go to work. And then the minute someone else is on him, you'll see him bring out the handles. You'll see him doing all of these moves. You'll see him just have aggression from jump, want the ball, all of that type of stuff. You can see the energy flips. You can see it. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I'm saying. As a star player, that should not be happening because that's the same shit DeRozan was doing. And you've seen what he did when it mattered. Nothing. I need to, Kawhi was not doing that. Kawhi don't matter who's on him. You, you, or you, or both of you. It don't matter. I'm still doing the same thing. Oh, bruh, like, <laughs> that's crazy, man. Anyways, y'all seen, y'all seen exactly what I've been trying to say from time. When true talks, you listen. You listen, man. I'm telling y'all, this shit is going to be important when it comes to the later down the line. I'm t I've been, I'm just going to keep repeating the same shit so y'all don't be like, oh, he just said it. No, I've been saying it from day one. From day one. You know what I'm saying? From day one. Bruh, it's crazy, man. Anyways, it's true talks because true talks, like I said, share, like, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. Click that notification button so you know when I'm out here, there's no doubt here, there's no drought here, you feel me? Bruh, at the end of the day, it's still a good win, man. At the end of the day, still a good win. <laughs> Bruh, I'm out, man.